Hey everyone! So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys super affordable makeup brushes. These are the brushes that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. This is from the company called Gino & Co. These brushes retail for $2 each. These probably have to be the most super inexpensive brushes that I own and the quality is super great. Gino and Co. sent me these brushes totally for free. Uh, they just want to hear my honest opinion and they are absolutely amazing. I was so excited to make this video just because I think it's so hard to find great quality brushes uh, for a very super low amount. They also sent me two of the uh, Juno Fusion sponges. These are a microfiber sponge. It's like a velvet type of material. It's super soft. Sorry if I sound nasally. I literally am getting over a cold. So I sound nasally. I have a lot of sinus and congestion problems and I can't hear out of my right ear. <laughs> so not only are these brushes $2 each, they also gave us a coupon code for 10% off, which is amazing. Not only that they're super cheap, they still gave a coupon code. So I'll just leave it right here for you guys. It's just Eliza, or I'll leave a link down below the description. It's just a direct link, so you can click on it, and the 10% will be applied to, the, uh, to your cart. It's super awesome, and I'm so excited to share with you guys these brushes. Uh, we're gonna first try out the Judo Fusion Sponge. I've actually used this dry to set underneath the eyes. Uh, this is how it looks wet. I'll show you guys how it looks when it's dry. So that's how it looks. The size difference is just a little. So for foundation, I'm gonna just use my Fit Me by Maybelline, and I'm in the shade 310. So I'm just gonna dot that all over the face. I love the shape of this sponge because it has a little cut here and right over here I feel like it would fit perfectly right underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna tap, I guess, bounce, tap. Okay, so right away, I love the shape of the sponge. I feel like this area right here is perfect with getting into the into the eye area, the nose area, and then the bottom is perfect for pouncing all across the face for larger areas. And it looks really good. This is only one layer of foundation, and it's a very thin layer. It gave me great coverage. It definitely doesn't soak up as much as a beauty blender. Cause like if you can tell, I applied foundation like all over like this and it's touching the whole surface area of this and you can tell it's just not soaking it up, it's sitting right on top. So you're going to save a lot more product with this sponge compared to a beauty blender. It doesn't leave any streaks, that's what I was actually scared of was with this sponge that it was going to leave like little hair streaks. So if you guys can tell, there is no streaky lines or uh, hair texture at all. It just blends in super nicely all across the face. And it it gave us like great coverage. Like I'm really happy with this. And even I pounced it on the bottom and there is literally almost no makeup product on this sponge. So overall, I really am impressed with this. And for $4, that's super affordable. So these are the six brushes that I have received. Keep in mind, I am not getting paid or anything. This video is not sponsored. This is my honest opinion, and I will definitely share with you guys super affordable products, especially like this, because they are great quality. They are super, super soft for a low cost, and they're super durable, and they are gorgeous. Like, these brushes look super expensive. I'm going to be using my... Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I'm just gonna dab a little bit underneath the eyes. And going in with the EOS, EOS, I keep saying EOS. 
E S O one. So basically, I'm just kind of tapping it to blend it all out. I have like a bunch of these brushes, like this type of sheet. I know a lot of people don't really use them, but I like using them for concealer and for face mask. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under uh, eye area using the EO, EO, ESO3 brush. And this is like a really good size to set your face. I'm just gonna use it to set the under eye area so I can try out the other powder brush. It's They are so, so soft. Like so dang soft. Like these feel like they would each cost like $10 per brush. And then I'm going to use my Fit Me uh, pressed powder just to set the rest of my face. And I'm going to be using the ESO2 powder brush. So I just kind of pick up the product. So compared to like e.l.f., which is a super affordable brand, and their brushes, uh, they retail from, it depends, like they're all black brushes. Those retail from around $3 or more. Um, and they're super basic white ones. Those are super affordable. Those are like probably like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. It depends. Um, and they're not as great and as soft, but these brushes are so great quality, super well made. You could tell from the quality that these feel so expensive but they're not. I'm gonna try using this as a contour brush. Yeah, I'm gonna try using it to see how it works. Even though I'll definitely use this as a blush brush. It definitely applied it more flawlessly than more defined. I actually really like how it looks. I never really use these as contour brushes, that's why. So, I'm really impressed. I'm gonna definitely use this now as a contour and bronzer brush. It definitely doesn't give you too much of a defined uh, line, but it looks really good. And then I'll use this uh, EOS 3 brush as a uh, blush brush. And this is my Laguna Laguna. Wow, I have brought naming things correctly. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. And then my absolute favorite, the fan brush, the ESO4. I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever highlighter. I don't know what this is called. It's kind of rubbed off. But if I find it, I'll link it down below. And I like this because some fan brushes are too big or too small. And this is actually a pretty good, decent size. We need a moment for this highlight though because it is popping. I definitely believe in this company so much. I think it's great how they want to create super affordable products for you guys that are in great quality. But if you guys have tried uh, Judo & Co products before, let me know how you guys like them down below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked this review. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I love you guys all so, so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my video. Bye!